Welcome guys again to the fight against Idia, Idia, Idia. I keep getting that wrong, I don't know. Tell me how to pronounce her name, damn it. Um, so it's in the fight coming up, there's still quite a lot of foes to be killed. Oof. Is it a good idea to say killed? I don't know, I, I think this like Pokemon where I have to say fainted or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, she has the exact same attacks as last time you fought her if you were around for that long. Well, it wasn't that long to be honest, it was her with Cypher and stuff like that. Anyway, this first fight she has 63,000 HP, she's not weak to anything, she doesn't absorb anything, she's not resistant to anything or anything. So you don't need to worry about any elemental weaknesses and stuff like that. However, she does have Shell, so just keep that in mind, and she does have Protect as well. Uh, too bad there's no Dispel in the game yet. Uh, so she does have one physical... Or one... No, she has two physical attacks. One is Astral Punch, so that's her special physical attack. And the rest is all elemental, so... Firaga, Blazaga, Thundaga, and Fira Thundara. And those are all counters as well, so you need to be kind of careful. So you may want to bring Shelga. Well, you definitely want to bring Shelga, actually, if you are weak. And I wouldn't bring Protecta because her physical attacks are pretty rare. Because there's only two physical attacks and a lot more um, magic attacks from to for her to choose from. So first up, we have to do Shelga or... Sentinel's Grimoire. Grimoire? Grimoire? <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna pretend we are quite low characters just to kind of show everyone what to do. So first we have to Shellgar. Sentinel's Grimoire is the best, of course. You may want to bring Boon as well. Boon is also good because it does have Shellgar. So you don't need to stack it on if you don't have Shellgar already. Okay, so let's start with the breakdowns. So, yeah, she does quite a lot of damage still. I would expect her to go down a lot more quicker, but because... I don't know why. 63,000 HP is a lot for a, um, a first boss, to be honest. So it's going to be pretty hard for you guys, which are just starting off, so be very careful. Uh, shall we Angelo can? Yeah, might as well. Power Break and Magic Break is also good, so we are going to do that as well. Did I bring Magic Break? I think I did. I think I did with Squall. Let me just double check. Yep. So Magic Break, Power Break for the Astral Punch. She's doing Astral Punch a whole lot more. <laughs> like I said, I'm just pretending she's doing more damage than she actually is. So that's why I'm kind of playing it slow. Um, so yeah, Power Break is also good. And I guess Magic doesn't really ma matter. Magic or Physical because she does have both protections. She may cast it at any time she wants. Even if you have Carbuncle, that would be awesome as well, for the later fights. If you have, um, if you're a low, you're a low caliber party, then I would consider crafting Carbuncle actually, just for these fights, because there is a fair few fights where you do need to just focus on just magic abilities. Like the Final Fantasy IX one, where the bosses just cast magical, so just reflect back of them and they'll end up killing themselves. There you go. Pretty, pretty easy. I'm sure a lot of you can finish this fight. Hopefully. I'm hoping well for you guys. Yay! Okay. Don't need to worry about any weaknesses, like I said, just... Make sure you don't get KO'd. Memory Crystal. There we go. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.